Hey guys, talk with Cyclone FPV. I'm trying to get my camera situated here, so bear with me a second. Sorry, but all right, let's see if that'll work for now. Okay, so I've got an RMA to do here. Uh, gentleman sent in his quad, uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna check it out live, see how things go. All right, now let me just find a razor knife here real quick. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I got, we had a great time. The family, we got to meet my son's girlfriend. Everybody went trick or treating. My wife had a blast. She got, we had like the most candy on our street, so we were voted. The kids said we're the best house. Take that, neighbors. All right, anyways, here we go. Well, I'm trying to hide this guy's stuff, but it's all over, written all over the box. So, uh, sorry, but let me just see if I can try to open this without revealing too much here. Okay, so, oh no, this is a, No, I guess it is one of theirs, babe. Sorry, I, I, I'm wrong about that. Uh, this is the new Sector 30. Okay, the picture I couldn't tell. All right, so what we've got here is a Sector 30, and apparently uh, it, it is something's goofy with it, with the ESC perhaps, so we're gonna check this out. I think I'm looking at the gentleman's notes that he said, uh, let me see, he said, been texting HDRC, agrees it's bad ESC. I haven't flown the quad, but I've tried to flash it with BL Heli and the ESC video attached. Be willing to install a new board myself with a sense of, I, I don't even know what's wrong with it, to be honest with you. I can't tell if it's that it is not flashing or what. The details are a little vague. So we're just gonna find out and see what's going on, okay? So let's do this. Let me get my soldering stuff out of the way. Here, my solder out of the way. Uh, and let me see if I can find my, here it is, my smoke stopper. All right, and let's. Okay, uh, probably should disconnect the VTX though because I was just thinking, hey, you know what? It may interfere with our signal. Uh, so let me just, I'm just gonna desolder one of the wires real quickly. That way we don't have any interference at all. Um, I'm not really sure what's wrong with the ESC though because it's, I mean, it initializes fine. Everything so far looks good. So if he hasn't been able to fly it, then I think the thing is, is that it hasn't even, I don't think, but I've tried to flash it. I don't understand. So maybe he tried to flash it before he flew it to do an update, not sure. I don't really know why that would be the case, but let me first just desolder one of the wires here for the VTX. And this way I don't have to worry. I'm gonna actually take off the ground. Oh, HTLAC solder takes forever. Ooh, somebody's at my house. Now that's cool. Let's see who it is. Let's see who we got at the house today. Uh, let's see. Who could this be? Oh, it's it's DHL. Awesome. More packages arrived, babe. Which is probably good because I think we're in that package is our new laser cutter. All right. So we'll take the ground and we'll take the positive off. There we go. I dare not leave these laying around though. Probably should have taken it off from the other side, to be honest with you. Let me, I think I'm gonna put these back on and take it off from the board side. That way we don't short anything out. So let me go ahead and put these back. Okay. There you go, I'll take it off from the board side. Yeah, now I don't have to worry about it shorting. That wasn't very smart to do it the other way because then I have a live wire that's just not soldered. All right, let me pull that, pull that wire out so that we don't mess with it. There we go, now our VTX won't be powered. So there's that wire there. Okay, now let's plug it back in and see what's going on. It says it cannot get to BL Heli, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up, share our computer screen as well. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. I mean, it's initializing fine, so I'm, I'd be very surprised if that's the case. Uh, there we go. We should see our computer screen here. Give me one second to make sure. There it is. Let's put that up there. Let me minimize the gentleman's uh, work order, though, so we don't have to see that. And we're going to open BL Heli. And then I'll share the screen with you guys. That's not BLL, my bad. This is BLL, my bad. All right. There we 
go. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead and read setup. Okay, my bad, let's disconnect. Okay, so <clears throat> it is reading it. There is not a problem with that. Um, there are, it does look like there's a, a firmware issue, uh, which is kind of interesting, but let's just go ahead. And what we're gonna do to fix this is we're gonna isolate the ESC, all right? So we're gonna isolate ESC number one, flash, try to flash it here. And okay, so I'm not gonna do it this way. Then I'll go to ESC number two, and I'm gonna go to flash here I'm going to look at what it's an H, uh, okay, FH40 multi, so 16.7 FH40 multi. So let's go over here, and we're going to go to flash, and we're going to go, <clears throat> <clears throat> let's look at FH40 right here. No, that's E, sorry, E, FH40 right here, and we're going to go to multi, all right, 16.7, and we're going to click OK, click yes and we're gonna flash the ESC. It's okay if it says not responding, that's kind of normal. Um, I've had that happen quite a few times, so there you go. We've got now our ESC there, and now we're gonna go to ESC number four, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna say uh, flash, and we're gonna do uh, another FH40. So let's find FH. Let's go to multi and click OK and flash it. All right, guys, and so one thing you wanna make sure of is, now I don't know if it came like this. I'll, we'll assume the customer says it did come like that, that's fine. Um, but uh, when you see something where you can see some of your firmware is loaded and that a couple of the channels don't have it, Find out what firmware your channels that do show a number, what they're running, and then isolate that one by right-clicking on it, right? So um, let me show you now. So now what we're gonna do is when this thing resets itself, look at that, all four of them are loaded. Um, now here's what I'm gonna do though. I'm gonna now change, I'm gonna leave this like it is. I'm gonna write the setup as it is right now. And here's what I wanna do, and here's what I would recommend you do. All right, so we're gonna disconnect. Now we're gonna go back to beta flight, okay? And we're gonna to connect to Betaflight and we're gonna make some notes here. So what we wanna do is we're gonna verify first. Let's connect here. Let's see what we're running. Uh, let's go to our CLI. Let's just type version. Oops, version, there we go. 4.2.9 uh, and we're running the HDRC F722. Okay, fine. So now what we're gonna do, we'll disconnect. <clears throat> we're gonna go back. <clears throat> and now we're gonna to go to configuration. And I'll explain to you why. I'm gonna take it off DSHOT 600 and I'm gonna to go to OneShot 125 and I'll explain to you why in just a second. So with OneShot 125, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to run a, uh, a uh, I wanna be able to initialize the modem and, 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 and get the modem set up so that I can, uh, oh my God, what am I doing? Find out my high and low on my, the max and min uh, values on my motors and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So first, uh, we're not gonna, I don't think he's gonna be using either of these. I'm gonna take that off for now. Let me click. And we've got one, two, five. So watch, this is how we're gonna do our, this is how we're gonna calibrate. That's what I meant to say is calibrate. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I'll leave this like it is. I'm gonna go back into BL Heli just to make sure everything's reading properly and it is, okay? I'm gonna do a, I'm just doing this because I wasn't, I didn't do the initial flash on all of it. So I'm gonna flash all of them. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. And I'm gonna, is that your phone, babe? Oh, yeah, it's, it's over there though, I think. 
I'm hearing it from over there. All right, I'm gonna reflash each motor, <clears throat> okay? And I'm just doing this because I know I did one and four, but let me just do the whole thing so I know it's fresh and it's working properly. Then we're gonna calibrate this. And what we're gonna do is, and you, I've done videos where we've done this before, and I'm explaining to you why. If there's a problem with the ESC, one of the things that I wanna do is I don't wanna hide it under a D-Shot uh, 600 or 300 where calibration isn't necessary. I want to actually run the motors, I wanna calibrate them, and I wanna see if the readings from each ESC are somewhat in range of the max and mins. If they're not, that's not gonna really do me any good then, and that's how I can tell if the ESC is kind of bad, right? So <clears throat> I'll, I'll show you here in just a second. But this is a very good tool. As a matter of fact, I had somebody just recently have this. I was one of the school teachers that we do the work for. Uh, we provide them with uh, 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 drones for their classes. And they had one of the ESCs that came up with a question mark on it. And I was explaining to him how to do this. And so once you realize this part, you don't really have to say your ESC is bad. I'm just surprised that HGLRC did not go through this part on their own. Um, I don't really understand. You know, it's, 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 it's one of those things where... I think this is maybe more of a not book smart it's more of a just if you work on drones so because people go through the book well if this happens and this happens and sometimes they spend too much time trying to figure out and they forget what's right in front of them but anyways so we're going to leave this these have been flashed i'm just going to click right so there's nothing to write obviously I, I do it out of habit so i just follow the same procedures now i'm going to disconnect now pay attention to what we do next okay here's the thing so we're going to turn off the uh turn off the power and unplug the usb all right, and now we're gonna go to, let me just do this like that. All right, now, with nothing plugged in, no power, well, I have the power, I, I have this rooked into an AC-DC converter, so as you can see, the, the smoke stopper's plugged in, but there's no power going to it. I'm gonna plug in my um, USB. There it is, unbeta flight. I'm gonna go down to my motors. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna crank it all the way up. I'm gonna turn this on. Once that set of chimes is done, take it down. Excellent. Now with that done, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to get on over to BL Heli. I'm going to reconnect. And now we're going to look at our min and max values here. So look right up here. Okay. Right here. All right. And remember, the minimum value is going to be the, the highest number of all the motors. So let's right click to isolate. Right click on one, it's 1016, two, 1016, three, 1016, four, 1016. This is the best scenario is when you see them and they don't change, okay? Now let's look at the maximum value. This will be, maximum throttle will be the minimum value of all the motors. So right click on one, it's 2008, two, 2008, three, 2008, four, 2008. Perfect. We don't really need to change anything here. And as we know that we're not going to 2008 as far as our values on our, our setup are concerned, but what we do know is each ESC and each motor is able to achieve both these common values. So that's perfect. So at this point, we're going to left click on all the motors, make sure everything's good. I'm gonna remove programming by TX. This way we don't accidentally put our quad into any sort of programming mode again. And now we're gonna click right setup and that change is gonna populate through all. Okay, one, two, three, and four, okay. Now we're gonna disconnect. Okay, let's close that down. All right, now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna unplug the battery, or sorry, actually, I can just turn it off, my bad. Let me turn that off. We're gonna disconnect the USB. Power's off, okay, now we're gonna plug the USB back in. And we're gonna connect. Perfect. And that's it. All right, so we've got everything working perfect now. There's no problems at all here. Um, so uh, there we go. And we can repeat the process. We'll turn it off, unplug it, turn it back on. Connect, take our motors, and make sure now they're programmed right. So motor one. Clockwise, motor two, counter, motor three, counter, motor four, clockwise. Everything works like a champ.
Okay, and that's it. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up. Now, if you guys will, excuse me one second, I need to check, here, let me do it like this. There's one more thing this gentleman wrote and I need to see something uh, before I close this up, but I don't want to give his information out. So let me just, okay, okay, what did he say? He said, uh, one more thing. I soldered a receiver to the flight control board when I got the quad, I'll, I'll take it off before shipping. I saw the language that suggested the presence of solder would invalidate the warranty. Sitting here, given that solder is on the flag and show. Oh, no, it's okay. Relax. All right, so he was just worried about that. Um, no, the soldering actually looks okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, your, your soldering is clean. It looks like you did all four, so you're probably running a TBS on here, uh, is what my guess would be. So I, would, I, w I don't think there's any problem at all. You're fine. Okay, so everything else looks good. All right, so this is going to head back. Uh, this is heading back to the customer now. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal is uh, with why it was sent like this or what happened to it, but once we got the firmware loaded and we got the wiring configuration straightened out, hey, everything's good. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please, as always, uh, hit me up and uh, yeah, just find out on our website. Or, But at the same time, please subscribe to our channel here. Um, we're getting ready to launch a couple new things as well. So uh, all your input is appreciated uh, unless you are just a keyboard troll uh, internet troll that has nothing better to do than at that point, at least be sure to put your name and address so we know how to send you a thank you card. Other than that, guys, uh, guys, God bless, be safe, and most of all, enjoy your family. You never know how much time you have left, guys. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon. Peace.